Good morning, everyone. How we doing? Hope everybody's having a fabulous morning. I am not awake yet. At all. Whatsoever. I overslept. <laughs> I just woke up like barely 10 minutes ago. So here I am. I made it. <laughs> Um, yeah, no doggo in the chair yet. I think Matt locked them all in their kennels. He is so nice. He's currently at Starbucks getting me coffee because I didn't have time this morning and I drank the rest of my coffee, my cold brewed coffee last night because normally I buy it at the grocery store and then I, you know, I have it to make in the morning. But I drank it all and I haven't gone to the grocery store yet because it's 9.30 in the morning on my first day off of the whole week. And uh, so he's going to rescue me so that I can actually be awake and coherent. So he's getting me a Starbucks coffee and a pumpkin bread because that's my favorite thing from Starbucks. But good morning. How are you guys? Look at all those green names. Did you guys see all your names uh, on the starting soon screen that rolled? I added everybody's name from the wonderful gifted memberships from uh, Amber yesterday. So everybody's name that is green is part of the uh, banana bunch or the budget bananas, uh, whatever group membership that you've joined on the channel. And I appreciate you so much, so much. Yeah, it's so kind of him. He's such a sweet, such a sweet person it is it's really nice so that way I get I get my wake up juice <laughs> totally forgot that stream uh, was today it was stream day today it is stream day today yeah so what we're gonna do I know the title says let's build um, but chat decides what I want to quickly show off some of the contest builds that didn't make the top five so there are four of them so before we actually jump into building i want to show those off we won't go over any of the builds that won first through fifth because those are in the video but i just want to make sure that those other ones don't get forgotten i know tumbly so many pretty green names making sure my face is a little bright the lighting is a little bit a little bright <sighs> Didn't pay attention to the starting soon screen. You were preparing breakfast at one in the afternoon. Hey, breakfast can be at any time. It is my favorite meal and I will never not be in the mood for breakfast. <laughs> hey Dot, how's it going? You have half a uh, half done build. You got so hyper-focused on Pokemon Scarlet you didn't finish. So that's what I've been doing the past few days. Basically, between Christmas and now, I've allowed myself, myself to take a little bit of a break because I needed it. My, um, my back was killing me. I was having really bad problems with uh, sciatica. And so sitting at the computer was, you know, just kind of aggravating it. I was tired. I was, um, I learned a whole new shift at work. And so that just takes up a lot of my mental capacity because, um, there's a lot, a lot to, to learn to be responsible for with the new shift that I learned. And, uh, so I let myself take a break. I just, I let myself not worry about YouTube or content creation or anything like that. And it's been wonderful. <laughs> it's been really wonderful. But today I have a to-do list that is far too long, far too long. And I realized that the music might be a little bit loud. Is that, is that any, is that better? I realized that I had it up cause I, I was before my break, I was recording things there. That might be a little better. As I should, the holidays are about slowing down. Yes, I agree. Breakfast is uh, is so food because you can eat sugary food and it's like a main course. I mean, breakfast is mostly carbs, right? Like pancakes and toast and donuts and bagels. At least here in the United States it is. <laughs> um, not good food, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've hardly progressed in Pokemon because you keep exploring everywhere. So I just beat the game. I beat the main campaign of the game 
And now I am painstakingly trying to finish my decks so that I can get the shiny charm. So um, this next coming Monday, we won't be doing our Nintendo nights. Let me just look at the calendar really quick. Um, because I close at work all next week, which means I'm not off until 7 30 uh, p.m. So that uh, that won't happen. But then on the oh, what I'm thinking about doing is potentially moving it to Thursday nights just because I have Thursdays off. So we'll see. But I also potentially might be changing my work schedule. So it's kind of all up in the air. But if you're ever wondering when I'm going to go live, something I need to do, which I'm going to write down on my to-do list, is update my stream calendar. <laughs> stream calendar. So you can always look there to figure out when we're streaming next. Next, And I think right now, today was the last thing that I had on there. I mean, I can double check my stream calendar, can't I? I'm pretty sure today might have been the last the last date. Yeah. So I need to, I need to add some more dates because today is the last date that I had on there. So yeah. Alrighty. Hey, we are so close to our like goal already. Killing it, killing it. Should finish your thesis in the next few weeks. That'll be awesome. Hey Primo, how's it going? Hmm. Your package hasn't shipped out yet. It says it's arriving tomorrow. You're a little nervous. What package? I must have missed that. Oh, Andre ordered something from Amazon. It's running late. I know sometimes it does that to me too, where it'll update it and it, it'll be like two days later or something like that than it originally said. My coffee! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Love you too. Yay! We got coffee. Woohoo! I <laughs> know yawning. You haven't been sleeping well and you're exhausted. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my stuff originally said it was going to be coming on the 14th to 15th, so I guess you can't complain too much. Yeah, and how um Amazon does like two day or overnight shipping is just insane. Like how many distributing centers they must have and drivers and things like that. It's just, it's crazy. Totally crazy. Okay. So let's jump in to voila. Let me get up my list here and not have it so I cover chat. That would be great. Okay. So we're going to start with Targia. I think that's how you say it. Uh, foxes in a snow globe. So we'll take a look at this one and we'll just tour them very, very quickly. I just wanted to make sure that they didn't get left out or forgotten because they are still beautiful built. And I already have ideas on the next one the next contest that is, um, I'm going to be trying to give contests in 2023 a little bit more time, um, and also incorporate, uh, prizes. So we'll see how that goes. Um, that means rules are going to be a little more strict, uh, because if there's something to, to win in the contest, I want to make sure everybody's following the same rules and everything. Um, but yeah, so here we go, foxes in a snow globe. Look at this, they used the round border and they made a total wall around it and made this like, it's basically like a little diorama. How cute is this? It's so cool. I love this, this bridge here. Is this made of multiple pieces? This is 866 pieces. Yeah, so this is a custom bridge here. No, I don't want that. This is a custom bridge here. It goes all the way around, custom little path. And then we have a huge tree, which is a hundred total objects. So this tree is custom as well, made of the cypress trees. 
all put together. Check that out. That's really cool. And then we've got the little buildings back here. I wish I did not have time this year to do a Christmas build, but I wish that I, I would have. I wanted to build little buildings like this. But look at how cute they are with the little star. That's a really clever use of this is the Australia grass piece. This spiny headed matte rush. <laughs> That's a really clever use of that. That's really cool. And cracks and stuff in the windows. And then of course, of course, of course, we have our Arctic foxes. You can see one of them sleeping right there. Down at the bottom. Is there anything in this tunnel? Let's see. Anything in the tunnel? Or is it just a cave? Oh, it's just a cave for them. How cool is that? This is like their little backstage. Oh, and we even have a little backstage area. Very cool. Look at that. <sighs> still time for a winter build though? I guess you're right. I guess it's still January. We'll see. I have, I have such a long um, video list that I don't know if I'll get to it. Um, I have a couple things in PK that I want to build that are halfway done. I have a Jurassic World Evolution 2 build that I want to start and do. Um, Planet Zoo, I need to get that African elephant species breakdown video out because it's like 80% done. And then I have a speed build that goes along with that. Um, so I actually am quite backed up on a lot of content. I have the Florida, the Tampa Zoo. I think it's the Tampa Zoo, Lowry Park, Tampa Zoo. Um, maybe it's not Tampa. Anyway, I have a vlog that's like filmed and ready for the voiceover. I just haven't done the voiceover yet. So I have a whole lot for you. So yeah, there we go. That is foxes in a snow globe. Let's head on back to the main menu. We hit our like goal. Look at you guys go. Let's set that to 50. Killing it, killing it. Doing so good. It really does help out. You'd be surprised with how much YouTube apparently just loves, um, loves the likes. <laughs> but they do. They love the likes. They love, love, love them. Okay, so I'm gonna unsubscribe from the ones that we're not going to be touring. The ones that are from the video. Um, this one, and we just toured this one, and the Christmas Burrow, I think, was one that won. Yeah, that was Viva Lina, so unsubscribe that one. Okay, so we have three more left. Let's go Rocky Road Reserve, and this one is by Circle E 1996. Circle E 1996. And if you want to see any of these builds or download them or anything like that, I put all of the links in the video description so you can find them there. Um, Amber, Heather, don't worry about posting them. They're, they're posted under the video so you guys don't have to go searching for them. I didn't provide them for you in advance because I almost forgot about this. <laughs> Rocky Road Reserve. We have timber wolves. The timber wolves are one of the animals that I kind of want Planet Zoo to redo. Um, hold on, I'm writing down things as they pop into my mind so I can get organized for today. I wanna do a video on like animals that I think um, Planet Zoo should kind of revise or or just update you know um let's close the zoo out 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 we don't need you in here get out we want to be able to view our park without the disruption of people but we again have the round border i'm really surprised with how popular the round border is yeah mm, waterfall noises i love the waterfalls 
and we have waterfall and just like just water features in the pond there's our little wolf running around but i think the fur on the wolf's face um could be redone with like their new skill i guess like the fur on the newer animals looks absolutely amazing and uh i think that the wolf could use a little bit of tlc we've got some what are these um food stands merchandise stands this is a cool use of this making people go in and out giving a door to the bathroom with that little uh walk through habitat gate thing it's all Christmassy themed. Oh, I always forget that these are recolorable. That looks really cool. That looks really, really cool. Awesome. We've got some facilities back there. Cute little build. Yeah, and then we got the little waterfall noises. I absolutely do plan on a new franchise series. I have it 20% filmed. I filmed the intro and I filmed um, kind of explaining the premise of the new franchise and everything like that. I need to sit down today to do the actual, like, first speed build and get our first habitat kind of built. But I keep going back and forth on the first animal to add. And so it's kind of, um, set me back just a little bit because I am indecisive. <laughs> I'm indecisive on what I want to build for. Andre, let's go into your build. Let's go into your build. So it's a desert franchise. I can tell you that for sure. But I'm having a hard time not choosing flamingos as the first animal. <laughs> Heather, I'm never indecisive. This is the one occasion, one occasion that I'm indecisive. But I keep going back and forth because I want to choose. I, I, uh had a poll on the channel um a while ago as like what the first animal should be and i included like things like prairie dogs you know or meerkats that are actually like desert animals um but i don't know i can't decide so yeah hey it's you andre this is beautiful so we've got some red deers in here red deer i guess is the plural of red deer little waterfall we got those waterfall noises again I know I thought about that too Gus uh peafowl so I still might do that but the way I think I posted a picture on the sneak peek in the patreon for for members I think if you go back um or maybe I just posted it for everyone the way that I started, there's a water feature right at the front of the park and I wanted to incorporate the water feature in the first habitat. So I was trying to pick an animal that likes water a lot. This is so well foliaged. I love the snow with like the, the break, right? So it's all underneath all the trees and stuff is all melted. This is great. And the way that it kind of like, so if you sit here, the terrain comes up so that the deer are kind of at your eye level and stuff. That is a very realistic kind of zoom method there. I love this back fencing. That's gorgeous. Very, very cool. And we have a little Christmas area over here. The Redwood Stop. We have a restaurant. How pretty is this? With the little trees and everything. I love the restaurant um, benches. I need to use that more. Very, very cool. We have some stables in here. Desert otters. <laughs> You're just making no sense at all now, Brittany. Desert otters. Very cool. What? A, and we got some education, of course. I love the detail of the rocks on this front fence line. Waterfall is very cool. It comes down and goes like over to the side through the rocks. Very well done. Thank you so much, Andre, for entering. Start with polar bears <laughs> with a little yes penguin. No penguin. Isn't there a no emoji? Didn't I add that or no? Yeah, there you go. No penguin. No. <laughs> no polar bears. 
as the first animal in a desert zoo. I do need to add the more rocks emoji, um, Amber, but I'm out of emote spots on YouTube. So YouTube, um, gives you emojis based on how many members you have. And we have so many members thanks to Amber last time, but we don't have enough for an additional emote spot. So once we have another one, I will definitely add the, um, more rocks one. And I am working on an armadillo one. So that should hopefully come very soon. Um, that was Andres. And now last, but certainly not least, we have Unicorn Dreams 88 Santa's Reindeer. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one real quick before we jump in. Oh, I did add the more rocks. Brittany, you found it. I couldn't remember if I added that one to YouTube or not. Yeah, Amber, I need to update that one because it does, it's it's really hard to read on YouTube, but that one is the, the more rocks. What I might do is I might just, uh, I might just edit it to say like rocks or something. It's really hard. Emotes for YouTube have to be like 64 pixels by 64. Um, and it's really difficult to get like legible things that aren't more than like four letters on a sign. <laughs> Rochelle, are you lurking or are you just showing off the, the emotes? Yeah, 64 by 64. They are tiny, tiny. So when I go in to edit them, it's really difficult. So we're in nighttime here. We're in the snow. I'm going to guess we have some sort of reindeer. Per oh, because it says Santa's reindeer. Duh. Look at the lighting in here. Elves to-do list, checking it twice. Is his little workshop upstairs? Oh, it is. Look how cute that is. No, go away. We don't need any of these bothering us. We've got a stall for each of them. Are you gonna go in your stall? Oh, with a lot of uh, excitement, go in your stall. <laughs> That's really cute. He's gonna lay down. This is Prancer. Perfect. It's so sweet. Little hose on the outside. Here's all the rest of our reindeer. Oh, look at the snowman. <laughs> That's so cute. With the little arm light things. Or pole things that for arms. That's really cute. There's another one over there. Got a whole bunch of snowflakes on the roof. This roof is really interesting. This is kind of cool that they didn't, um, they didn't just make it like an A-frame roof. Very cool. We have a little door up here outside. And the tree in the corner. This is very cute. Very, very cute. And this one is the rectangular border. So very cool. All right. So that is it. Let's go back to the main, not that. Let's go back to the main menu real quick. All right. Um... So yeah, so that is our contest build. I am thinking our next contest, I'll tell you guys, because I generally give away sneak peeks in stream. So if you watch them back or you're hanging out here, generally you get to see uh, or hear ideas before they happen. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do like a Valentine's Day kind of thing because that's obviously in February. So it's about a month, month or so from now, a little over a month if I can get it out today. I want to do, um, a heart shaped border and then it can just be whatever animal you love the most. So your favorite animal in the zoo or your favorite two animals. I might, I might say up to two or up to three animals or something like that for this one. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, but that's what I'm thinking for the next, uh, contest. And then, um, we've had a lot of wonderful suggestions in our discord for like our content suggestions and stuff like that. So I have some really good ideas about contests after that. And then also potentially doing another community zoo. So we did a community zoo, I think like what, a year ago or something like that. And I just need to, I need to get another one together because it's a, it's a great time. Okay, and then you can see, look, this is a sneak peek on something I was working on. <laughs> uh, 
tutorial wise and then here is the start of our franchise if you guys can see it i know it's a little small but those are the water features i was talking about uh behind all those buildings that i'm trying to incorporate in to an animal enclosure but today we're going to stream zoo hi swifty how are you Yeah, we're jumping into our stream zoo now. I just showed off the four contest builds that did not make the top five. And that way they still got shown off. Just because they should have been shown off like a, a week ago. But then I um, I was behind on everything. I was behind on life. <laughs> I'm doing very good. I'm very tired today. Um, I've kind of been mentally uh, taxed at my job, um, but yeah. So for those of you that weren't here, this is our little armadillo habitat that we started. And I want to continue this, but we also got another donation last week for a moose. So I kind of want to get that one started today as well. And then what I might do is I might designate a specific stream in the future to like finishing habitats. So not that you can't donate and pick an animal. It just during that specific stream, we won't be starting anything new. We'll be working on stuff, um, working on stuff from behind uh, or that was previously donated for um, either that or I was thinking of like finishing this and releasing it as like a speed build video. So let me know what you guys think might be cool. Um, what you might, like if you want Stream Zoo to be specifically streamed um, and only streamed, but I, I just don't wanna leave things like this behind. Like this is such a good little start for a, for a little armadillo habitat that I don't want it to get left, uh, left in the dust. But today we need to figure out where our mooses are going to go. We have three moose right there. Estan, how's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Wonderful Wednesday. Um, yeah, so there's our moose. So if we take a look, we are expanding rapidly, but we could keep the moose. Let me grab the terrain thing because this will be our first uh, vote. Let's see. So we could keep the moose right here and do a habitat that kind of wraps around this way. Of course, we would change the pathing and, and do all that kind of stuff, but we could put the moose right there. That'll be option number one. Or the Siberian tiger and the American bison in a habitat. I don't think that would be very sustainable. We could do the moose behind here and we could have them share the, we could just kind of duplicate this building over and have them kind of share the same in-house building as the uh, Chevalsky's Wild Horses. So we could do that. Or we need to fill in this gap somehow. I'm thinking we might bring this path over around to the side because somehow we have to break break out and have it come this way um, they should go near the otters that's what i was trying to figure out i mean i guess they could go on the very edge of the zoo like if we did a, a solid kind of wall right here that kind of designated outside of the zoo and inside of the zoo we could put them, if we took the terrain, oops, if we took the terrain and we flattened this out over here. Oh, my eye twitched. <laughs> if we flattened this out over here and put them kind of back in this area, you can see the the sand right here was the supposed to be like the beginnings of like the the road and the drop off area and stuff. So I guess we could kind of put them here. 
like that. Because then we could do, we could bring the pathing down this way and around. And we would just put like a, a better wall over here so you couldn't view the otters from that side. So that, I think those are our three options. So let's get big numbers. Did I pass my numbers? I did pass my numbers. So one, two, three. <coughs> Make it so you can see all those. All right, so one, two, three. Let's get this pole and end the like pole. We'll get that back up in just a minute. You guys are killing it with the like goal. Good job. All right, where to put the Mises? Oh, oh I spelled moose wrong. <laughs> One, two, or three. All right, go ahead and vote in that chat. Yes, this is a, it's, it's a tropical biome zoo, but the habitats don't have to follow that. We generally vote for what kind of foliage and stuff to use in each habitat. So far, people haven't chosen so much chaos and things kind of match what the animals want. So that's good. I don't think we're gonna do a predator prey habitat, Joshua. I generally like to build with a little bit of realism in mind. So I generally don't build things that um, like wouldn't really work in a real zoo. Hey, Mr. Man, how's it going? It's funny, Mr. Man is uh, one of the nicknames for my cat <laughs> that we use. Um, his name is Mango, so we call him uh, Mango Man or Mr. Man. Um, or if he's in trouble, Turd Man. <laughs> uh, is this what we donate for the blindfold build? Epos, you can donate for that anytime. And I can't say no. And I have to do it. Look at all this stuff we have over in the uh, graveyard area that we have to incorporate into the zoo somehow and stuff over here as well. Let me actually move. Are these all in one? No, let me move these to the graveyard area. The graveyard area needs to actually get kind of moved off to the side because we are rapidly running out of space. All right, there. So did everybody vote? Did you get your votes in? We're voting for where the moose should go. We have area one over here, area two over here, and area three over there. We should do sort of a predator prey exhibit with a null and it appears the two animals are sharing the exhibit. Now that's something we could potentially do. I have seen, uh, I have seen zoos do like where they'll have an animal in front and then it doesn't look like there is a separation, but in the back there's other like prey animals. So for instance, I've seen it with lions where you can see the lions up front and then it looks like their habitat just continues on. And in the background, you can see gazelle, giraffe, all those other African plains um, animals. So that's something we could potentially do. Can you tour a zoo that anyone sends you via emails like what the delay designer does? I have been uh, contemplating it. So the, the issue is, is that I would not be able to tour every single zoo and so I'd have to make choices on what to tour and what to not. Um, but it is something that I have considered. I have considered because it's easy content and it's content that people enjoy. So I, I definitely have considered that, but we'll see. I have lots of plans for 2023. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's end this vote. Let's see what you guys did. Let's see if YouTube calculated the math correctly. Oh. Okay, number one. Number one is the winner. Let's get rid of all this. All right, and now what we need to do is we need to take a field trip to Google 
and we need to look at moose habitats. So if you guys have any zoos that come to mind that have really pretty moose habitats. <clears throat> Hype lions, where are the hype bananas? Hype bananas for our mooses. Okay, so let's go. Um, let me put back up this pole. I also want to go to Ikea today because I want to, uh, <laughs> dogs, I can hear my dog stomping up and down the stairs. Um, focus Savannah, one thing at a time. Okay. There we go. And then where are we at with our light goal? Where are we at? 44. Killing it, you guys. We need six more likes to pass that 50 like goal. Um, but I want to go to Ikea today because I want to get um, a new desk, <laughs> which is basically just a table. Um, moose Zoo uh, Exhibit. Let me bring this over here for you to see images and see what we got. Ooh, lots of water. Lots of water. 48 likes. You guys, we're two away. Two away. Killing it. See, and that's the problem, Brittany, is I love Ikea so much that um, my wallet is afraid. <laughs> my wallet is afraid. Um, Swifty, I did not do anything for New Year's other than hang out at home. I worked until 8 o'clock and I had to work at 11 o'clock the next morning. So I hung out. This one is cool. It's blurry, but it's cool. This is not a moose habitat, Google. But that's cool nonetheless. It's cool. It's cool aviary. Yeah, this one's kind of cool with like all the rocks and stuff. It's really blurry. Did we do it? Did we kill it? Uh, where am I looking? 51. You guys, let's go 75. Let's go 75. You can do it. I want to see if we can one day get a stream that gets over 200. That would be killer. Killer. All right. Uh, that's an elephant habitat. What's this? Eastern moose and eastern wild turkey. That's interesting. I like this idea of like a walkway out into the exhibit, right? That is a planet zoo build <laughs> from Reddit. I was like, that looks real kind of for a second. <clears throat> that one's rather boring. That one's rather boring too. We don't want to do something like that. Music account. You can suggest something, but if you want to absolutely definitively decide something, that is a super chat. The super chats are the way that you can tell me to do whatever and I cannot say no. So that menu is below me. I know it's a little hard to read right now with the, with Google up, but that is what that is. Yeah, there's just, it's lots of trees, lots of water specifically in these moose exhibits. I think my favorite one, I really like this. Oh, that one's not blurry. That's great. Yeah, I like this and I like this fencing. So what if we, what if we kind of go off this and we do like a little waterfall in front? Uh, Andre, um, purple. There you go. They do like to hang out in lakes. No, you can't decide to change the music, Swifty. That is one thing that, uh, that you cannot do because I have to play certain music so that I don't get demonetized. <laughs> Let's open this in a new tab so I can see it. 
Oh, hello. No, no. Where did it go? Oh, no, I lost the picture. Hold on. I'll find it again. Where did it go? Ah, here it is. I need to open image in a new tab. There we go. That works. Okay. So, let's see how our lighting is. Nice and bright. So what we want to do, let's see. We want to create the water first because the water is a pain in the butt. And so we always want to deal with water first. So let's leave us lots of room. There we go. For pathing and stuff like that. Blue wildebeest would be cool to see. I have not gotten yet to build for any of the new animals in the grasslands pack other than the butterflies. <laughs> other than the butterflies. But I plan to get there. I just have not had time. But I want to build for the caracal because that is one of my favorite animals from the pack. And then also the maned wolf because the maned wolf is just is gorgeous. <clears throat> Time to lurk and fold laundry. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk. So we'll kind of do this kind of thing and we'll get that all. This will be kind of like a river and it'll be separating the moose from the viewing area. And then this is where we can do our little rock, um, our little rock like waterfall thing. So let's bring all this up a little bit back here and then use this to kind of smooth it all out and get a raised portion. I want to make sure the moose have enough room because moose are really big. So I want to make sure they have enough room to run around and enjoy things. <clears throat> yeah, Tom, I love that they have the interspecies uh, bonus with them. So I kind of want to try to incorporate that somehow. Um, I don't know. I, you know what? I've kind of gotten into the mood. <clears throat> excuse me. I've kind of gotten into the mood where I don't want to build like projects anymore. I just want to like build what I'm inspired to build and not make it fit into a zoo. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. That's not high enough. Want to be a little higher. That's good, right? Make this bigger, bring this down in intensity. And then kind of smooth some of this out. Actually a little bit higher in intensity because I want it to smooth a lot. What's my favorite animal to put in a zoo? So, chat, I haven't recorded my little sound bite yet. What's my favorite animal? <laughs> Chat knows. There are many people that know what my favorite animal are. Is. <laughs> the emus and the wallabies can work uh, in a walkthrough habitat. There we go. There's those waving lions. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> my favorite animal is an African lion. <clears throat> so we have that. Yeah, that's enough terrain, I think. It doesn't need to be too steep. And now let's move this out so the water goes in a little nicer. And then we can get this water in. That looks good. That looks good. Epos, you have the lion emoji too. Your name is green. You have access. <clears throat> uh, I agree though, Swifty. So I do think that they need a little bit of a rework, um, which is a video that I'm gonna put together. Hopefully today, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about like I'm thinking you know some of those catchy um, titles, top ten animals that Planet Zoo needs to 
uh, remake or top five or how, how I'm going to end up with like top seven or something that doesn't sound good because that's just how it works. But all right, you guys, what path for moose? I'm thinking something like this. We can change the texture, but let me just go ahead and get the, the main situation, like the main what am I trying to say? The layout done. So I liked that uh, idea of like a little lookout, right? <clears throat> Do I want it to be a circle though? Not really. I kind of want it to be a square. So... If we do this, we can make it a square. Yeah, and then that'll be a little bit easier to decorate. And then we can go off like that. <clears throat> and that will have to be connected somehow. Oh, are you gonna be a pain with that? Maybe, oops, maybe then it, hey. Maybe then it comes down this way, like that. There we go. The pathing is always the hardest part and I'm sorry if I get quiet with the pathing, but it takes so much concentration. <laughs> so much concentration to like get this stupid path to work correctly. Let's raise it up just enough so that it is blue. And then I wanna go along the water's edge like so. There we go. And then will this connect nicely? Oh, it will. Okay, cool. Does that look weird? Yeah, you know what? Let me try to just connect this with that. Because it's weird that it goes down and then comes back up. So if I can... Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> you forgot? You forgot about your member perks can't forget about your member perks. So we could even, hello? Oh, it's somewhere, there we go. We could even take this off and do it like that. That kind of works. Let me smooth out this terrain though. That way it's not that um, drastic of a dip for the path. Is pathing or water the bigger pain? Together, it's awful. But if I had to pick one, I would much rather just deal with water <laughs> without any pathing. Because unless you're putting like, um, like pathing around it or anything like that, Water is generally not as bad, I feel, as the pathing is. There, that works. So we have like a little gentle slope down here. This will be kind of like a covered viewing area. And then you can go out here and do like a little walk along the, uh, the moose habitat. Is this gonna be the biggest habitat in the zoo? Potentially, uh, not bigger than this one though. I well, maybe maybe equal size. Oh, sorry, I had to cross my legs. <laughs> yeah, maybe equal sized. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's work on the back fencing. Um, actually, no, I lied. Let's let's kind of flatten out this terrain over here and get the habitat uh, 
like the barrier actually in and put our moose over here so that I can use them for scale. That way we can make sure that we're building things the right height. That's not the fence I want. Albinos. Albinos what? Right. Right there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And we have escapes turned off, so we can just surround this whole thing with null and they will not go anywhere. Let me pull that out a little bit. I went a little bit too far in. But this is gonna be a huge habitat. Sam's Exotics, hello! You're a member as well. You've been lurking. Well, happy lurking. After a long a few days of treatment and vet visits, your cat has just been diagnosed with severe gastric dilation. Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sam. That's never easy. That's never easy at all. But I'm sure you made the right decision. It's just not an easy decision. All right, let's connect up this path. I'm thinking we'll probably just follow this, <clears throat> follow this real closely so that we don't, we'll have to put some sort of fence right here to separate like the uh, outside of the zoo. Let's do this color instead. I feel like it, it blends in with our theming just a little bit more. All right, so let's move our moose. Let's move our moose. Move to... Hello. There is a path. There we go. Sometimes the game just needs a little moment to think about its choices. Go. All right, let's get those guys moved over. This does kind of like round out the uh, round out the zoo a little bit, right? It kind of pushes it towards the front. Since when is there a melon feeder? The melon feeder's been there for like a while. Yeah, it's been there for a while. Oh God, I don't even want to look at our capybara situation. There are probably so many in that habitat. <laughs> All right, we're at 61 likes, you guys. 61, almost to our 75. All right, can you come over here and just stand there like a good moose? because we're gonna base the height of our fence off this big guy. God, look at how cool they look. They're so big. They're so big. Yeah, 62 likes. You guys really have been killing it. So I'm going to use the Twilight Pack beams because they're my favorite. They are my favorite. So, Let's make sure I hit all the right buttons. Again, I've been building in Prehistoric Kingdom quite a bit and the hotkeys are different. <laughs> so my muscle memory is gonna want me to build um, using the Prehistoric Kingdom one, the Prehistoric Kingdom hotkeys. All right, so I think I'm gonna make like a, this would be like a four by four kind of situation, like a square, square beam, but I want it to be like this. And if we like this fence, I can always throw it on the workshop for you guys. Because I'm going to try to do that more. I'm going to try to build more workshop things to share. Because I used to. I used to upload lots of things to the workshop. And then I just kind of 
I don't know, fell out of the habit a little bit. Should move some of the capybaras to other habitats. What do we have that the capybaras would get along with? Do we have anything that they would they would get along with? Let's see. Uh, um, I wish they would be all together, but the pieces are not. <laughs> They're all spread out all over the place. Okay. This way. Like that. And we'll do this one kind of in the middle. Rotate that. Oop, not too much. If you turn off predation anything no but it has to work we have to not just have them not kill each other because of settings so we're, we're not putting the capybaras in with the cheetahs for example <clears throat> should we just put this flat in the center there we go so there's that and then it kind of does Kind of does the same thing. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Hold on one sec. Yeah, but caimans aren't big enough to actually eat them. Especially like the dwarf came in and stuff. <clears throat> God, I have something in my, my chest that just won't go away. Um, oh, I minimized my picture. Come back. Okay, so we have that, that. And then there's like a bigger beam at the bottom, but I'm actually thinking... <clears throat> That this one should be actually should we just make this thicker like so because it's the top one is a little bit more supportive than just like that middle piece the middle piece is just like extra support I think so if we do that why are you fighting do not fight be good little wood pieces. There we go. And then if we just take this whole thing and we just rotate it to the bottom, that will be the bottom of our fence. Beautiful. Let me lower this down so that this is in the middle. Cool. And then... We take all of this and slightly slide it out because I kind of want longer sections. I don't think I kind of want this long of sections, but maybe, maybe like that long. Just so that there's not beams too frequently. But the one, one like thing that I have against the twilight fence is or the twilight beams is that I can never quite get this line to go away. There's always a teeny tiny line from where the pieces overlap and I can't, it won't go away. Okay. Well, that bothers me. <laughs> there we go. That works. <clears throat> Then we need some chain link because the chain link is what is going to keep these guys in. You found the entrance that I'm using for PK? The which one? My most recent build? 
or the one for Pangea Park? Because Pangea Park's the entrance I'm using, I believe, is like the Singapore Zoo entrance uh, is what I used for the reference picture. we go. Beautiful. That is a fence. Just realized though that they use this instead. Actually, I'm not mad at that. The stream park entrance. Yeah, that's the Singapore Zoo. I think it's the Singapore Zoo. There's the one that I use. This is not tall enough though, huh? I definitely think this needs to be taller. I'm just realizing. That's why I put the moose there for scale and then I ignored it. Yeah, there we go, that's better. That is better. Yeah, because the fence in the reference picture, there's a little uh, female moose. And it's like way taller than the female moose. So yeah, this is this is much better. Epos. And I won't stream for too much longer today. I know we didn't really get too much done in here, but I have so much that I want to accomplish and get done today that I don't have a whole lot of time for streaming. But we'll finish up this fence, maybe throw in a few trees and rocks, because we always have to have trees and rocks. And then we might call it a day. All right, so there's that. And then if we duplicate this over, that's much better. And you know what? I kind of do like the the um, chain link and the mesh wiring. I think that looks pretty cool. Looks very secure for a moose, I think. <clears throat> only thing I kind of want to do is I kind of want to bring this forward so that it's in front of the chain link. Yeah, like that. Same thing, I guess. Actually, I guess I can just do this all together. So same thing. Same thing with these pieces. Let's bring them forward so that they're in front of the chain link just a bit. There we go. Oh, the chain link popped up in front of it. You know what? Work smarter, not harder. Why am I doing it this way? <coughs> We'll just pull this back. <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to pull everything forward. We'll just pull that back a little bit. There we go. That's perfect. That is perfect. You love the Chevalsky's Wild Horse. It is a really good uh, model. It's a very good model. They did a really good job with it. And really, honestly, all the newer animals that Plant of Zoo puts out... <clears throat> <clears throat> looks so good they've done such a good job and like I don't honestly think any of the animals look 
terrible, but they've done such a good job, um, like just improving upon the animals that they have. I'm going to level out this terrain a little bit because I want the, I want the fence to be on top of it. <clears throat> so yeah, there are a few that I think do need like updates, but it's not because I think that they're bad. I just think that they could be better. Like some of the base game animals mostly because they've just, their skills have just improved so much with all the recent packs and everything. They've done such a good job. Such a good job. Okay, so we'll raise all of that. Then we will grab our fence and bring our fence over here. And we'll have to finagle the... Um have to finagle like the right here with the gate a little bit but for now we're just going to level this to the terrain and do it this way but yeah the lions are one of them the timber wolves are another one and those are honestly the only two that are coming to mind right off the bat oh the spotted hyena is one of them I think the spotted hyena could do with some updates. <clears throat> um, what else? I don't really feel like any of the reptiles in the game are in desperate need of, of an update or a rework. <sighs> Yeah, exactly, Amber. Just there's just new skill and always can do uh, always can do better. The Malayan tapir is the most needed rework. Why do you think that? That one actually doesn't come to mind if I'm thinking about animals that need rework. But all your opinions, what we're talking about right now, is just going to help me with my video later. So please tell me. <laughs> please tell me what would you think uh, needs a rework in Planet Zoo? other than the three that I've just named. <clears throat> the lion, yeah. Yeah, and like I said, I, I will build and play with any of the animals as they are right now. I just think some of them could do with a little bit of tweaking. Little bit of tweaking. But the, uh, what was it? I was looking at it the other day and that's what kind of made me think like, wow, you know, some of these animals, oh, it was the timber wolf. So for River Rock Zoo, we remodeled the timber wolf habitat, but I needed to film a, um, an animation for the maned wolf. So I just threw them in the timber wolf habitat. So when I loaded into River Rock Zoo, the timber wolves were there and when I got, rid of them and put the maned wolf in it really made it stand out in my mind how much the surrounding fur on the timber wolf's face kind of just looks like one puffy object and not like the individual fur that i know frontier is capable of because they did it on the maned wolf you know and so it was it was really just me seeing those two models kind of really close together that made me think about like oh you know that they really could do like a little update because it just looks like a copy and paste of the baird's tape here yeah but don't i mean Tapirs pretty much look exactly the same in uh, in the wild between those two species. They are just different colors. So that's why I guess that one doesn't really stand out in my mind um, because that one really makes sense just to be just to be like a reskin. Um, whereas like if you take something like the striped and the spotted hyena, yeah, they're both hyenas, <clears throat> but they look. Uh, in, in the wild, they look far different from one another. So those ones would not make sense just to be a copy and paste. What I'm gonna end up having to do, to be honest, is I'm gonna go into like my, I have like a, 
a test zoo world or like an overview uh, map where I just kind of throw things down and look at them. And I'm gonna place like one of each animal <laughs> and just, just spend time looking at them. You didn't miss much, Andre. We are putting in the fencing in the back perimeter here. So we just did, we did just did this whole back fencing, which I think looks great. Um, what does the railing look like on this path? Uh, railing on elevated. I mean, this is the easy way out, right? Is to do this railing. And I honestly don't think it looks terrible. If we start it like that. Let's say you were sitting here. I just wish this was recolorable because I don't want that to be super light wood. Oh, corrected the size of the bison? Are the bison models too small? <clears throat> All right, you guys, let's, um, let me check the light goal real quick. Are we there yet? Six to five, we need 10 more to hit that. Let me end this poll and let's vote for uh, what foliage we want in this habitat. What? Um, uh, not biome. Yeah, okay. Foliage. We'll do uh, taiga. Desert. Don't do it, but I'm going to give you the option. Um, temperate. And again, remember, we will use this as the main foliage, but we can use bits here and there. I get to make some creative choices. <laughs> uh, and Taiga Desert Temperate. Why can I not think of another? Why can I not think of another um, type of foliage? Uh, grassland. No. Tropical. Okay, go ahead. Get to voting. Vote, vote, vote. Vote, vote, vote. <laughs> yeah, something completely fresh would be really cool. Because that's actually another, um, another video that I have, um, is both what do I want to see in Planet Zoo for 2023, meaning features and mechanic changes and like stuff like that, um, or what animals do I want to see in 2023? It's the beginning of the year, so you're gonna see all these like, what does the year hold for us videos. Who can guess my number one animal that I want to see in the game? I have not been quiet about it. So if you've been paying attention, you might know. But who remembers? Birds, yeah, it is a bird. But there's one bird in specific. There's one bird in specific that I want. Fixing to be lunchtime. Amber, don't start talking about food yet. Tom, Andre, you got it. I want that dang secretary bird. I want it. I need it. Let me have it. Secretary birds are so cool. I want it so bad. <laughs> oh, this kind of has nothing to do with a secretary bird, but have you guys seen that video 
of the featherless little cockatoo by the pool and the guy holds up the little flotation device and he like doesn't want to get on it and then he gets on it and he's like floating in the pool. It's a really old video, but it resurfaced like two days ago. And it's all I've been uh, like quoting and I've watched it like a thousand times again because it's so funny. Hopefully somebody knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, the secretary bird, it doesn't even need flying. It's just a remodel of a flamingo. Oh, you saw it on my Instagram story? Yeah, I have to consider. <laughs> they see me floating. That's what he does. It's so funny. I think it's hilarious. All right, and the poll. Seeds. <laughs> Premium from Costco. <laughs> If you don't know what video I'm I'm talking about, I probably just sound like a crazy person. Tyga, it is. Woohoo. Good job, you guys. Making the correct choices. Uh Oh, I spelled yes wrong. Uh great. Rather have the lure bird imagine going past a habitat and hearing uh, whips, singing, and chainsaws all at once. My goodness. I haven't seen that bird, but I'm still cracking up of the color sorting bird. That was a really funny video. Amber, you should uh, look it up, and if I think about it, I'll post it. But it's so funny. I think parrots are like the funniest animal, uh, funniest bird, rather, I, I think. I just, I love parrots so much. But he's so funny. He walks over. Flotation device. I have to contemplate. I have to consider. He like doesn't want, he doesn't want to get on the flotation device. It's very funny. <clears throat> they see me floating. They gonna be hating. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay. Lots of trees in this one. I thinks, I thinks. Lots of trees. Again, if, if you haven't seen the video, I um, just sound like a crazy person. So go watch the video. That way I don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't leave the stream thinking I'm just crazy. The Crested Porcupine, they're in, uh, oh, they're in your blood. You don't know what to do without it. Yeah. Crested Porcupine would be cool. Or the, um, is it just the prehensile tailed porcupine? Those ones are really cool. Or tree kangaroos. Oh, hold on. Tree kangaroo. Porcupine. I think I've guessed porcupine twice now uh, for speculation videos, and I have been disappointed both times. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. <clears throat> Where did this tree go? Oh, here it is. I want to put one right there. That way, when you're looking, you got some close, some far. Um, yeah, porcupine secretary bird. I mean, I don't need to write it down, but I'm going to. Uh, what else have I wanted to see in the game that we don't have yet? I mean, you could always add another big cat and I would be totally okay with that. Just because I love big cats so much. Um, here. Here was going to be our waterfall. So I might have to move the entrance over there because this right here is where I was gonna build that little waterfall because it does not work putting it there and having the entrance behind it because there would not be enough room for it to uh, exist. <clears throat> Weaver birds through the walkthrough habitat, yeah. I mean, yeah, aviary birds, right? Could just be like a blanket group of animals that I would love to see.
Ooh, sloth. Thank you, uh, sh uh, Swifty. I almost called you Shifty. <laughs> sloth? Yeah, sloth would be really cool. I know Estan really wants a sloth. Yeah, they give us a sloth that might get that nerd back in the game. Actually, let's raise this just a little bit. Because it kind of, it's like a two-tiered, two-tiered system. Two-tiered waterfall. This is too big, though. I want the waterfall to be a little smaller than that. God, I got that video stuck in my head again now. Now that I was talking about it with you guys. I do want to do a rock work tutorial video as well. Because that's something I get asked for quite often. Yeah, I wouldn't really care, to be honest, like what sloth we get. I just want... A sloth. Oh, like more marine mammals. You know, I, I would too. Um, but I really don't think that they that is going to be a thing. I really don't see Frontier adding them. Just because of the controversy around them being in zoos um i just i don't see them adding them but i would be happy if they did because my opinions are of that it's a video game and it's not real <laughs> so adam go ahead tasmanian devil would be cool talking talking why do i know why do I know that animal, um, but I can't picture it? Talking. I'm gonna Google it really quick because I feel like I know what that is. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, the like mountain goat sheep things. <clears throat> Those are really cool. Those are really cool. Um, flip this over. Stick out a little bit. Raccoon dog and red wolf. Another wolf species would be cool. But I think if I'm thinking about like my very top picks, right? Like my very most wanted animals. I feel like I have to go with animals that aren't reskins. Except for the secretary bird. <laughs> Except for the secretary bird. Red wolves are endangered? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I am all about... Planet Zoo does a really good job, or Frontier, rather, um, of, like, incorporating, like, education and really researching what animals they're adding and stuff like that. And animals that would do really well in zoos. So I love that aspect of the team. So, but more endangered animals would always be, would always be cool. Alligator snapping turtle would be fantastic. Um, but I feel like that would warrant a bigger uh, exhibit. Cause I don't feel like they would add them I mean, maybe they would add them as a habitat animal because right now, all of the habitat animals have to be able to go on land at some point and, and snapping turtles can. So I think that could work. I think that could work. Um, let's do...
There we go. I just wanted to be able to see them without the blue tint on them. Actually, that color is pretty spot on. That color is pretty spot on for what I wanted it to be. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. And then I kind of want the rock work uh, to continue like up onto this kind of hill. So if we take, if we take something like this and just kind of gently outline that and then we can build off of it. I don't know how to do the back of the waterfall just yet. So I'm avoiding it. Hi, Algot. How's it going? Maybe I'll do this piece as the back. Yeah, go ahead and post a picture of Brenda. Love to see those animals in the pet pet channel. I always forget about the bottom of this rock. It's really cool looking, but I always forget to use it. There, that looks perfect. Okay, cool. Very good, very good. Oh, bunnies would be cute. Yeah, I do think bunnies would be cute. Some of the smaller animals though, like, cause you're talking, you know, well, I guess we have, we have meerkats and meerkats are really small. Cause yeah, when you get into the smaller animals, I imagine it gets a little more difficult and I wouldn't want them to be like weirdly giant bunnies, you know? <laughs> I'd want them, <laughs> I'd want them to be uh, like normal sized, realistic sized bunnies. But I think we have meerkats and, and bunnies are, are slightly fatter than meerkats, about the same size. Change them to white. I always kind of like them as darker. Yeah, I like the dark because it gives it more of a contrast of like the shadows, you know? So that's kind of why I always change the shadows to black because it gives, it gives a little bit more dimension to them. If we changed it all to white, I feel like it would just take away the contrast. Mm-hmm. Like a feeding experience, that would be cool. Yeah, they just added guided tours and that was like on my list. So that's pretty cool. That's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Walk through habitat through the lion exhibit is not a realistic change, Amber. Bunnies are like fat prairie dogs. Yeah, I mean, good point. They are. Okay, so let's unpause this and go to effects and we want water. We want water tall, waterfall top. And we wanna kinda sink this in like so. I like using the waterfall top for everything just because I think, I feel like, cause I can like sink it into the rocks like that and you can see how it kind of looks like it's falling down the rocks. 
I feel like with the other waterfall pieces, it doesn't quite do that. Yeah, see? Uh-oh, we have one more moose that's arrived. It's gonna... Is it gonna work? Let's, let's move you, because you are all sorts of glitchy. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's get you over into the actual habitat, and then that's all three of our moose. Okay, cool. So there's that, and then we need the little bottom piece of the waterfall. Water, waterfall bottom. Not murky bottom, normal bottom. Oh, the light is getting really bright. The sun is starting to come out at my house. just a little waterfall. I think it's great. <clears throat> it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Beautiful. I want to add more. It needs more trees. More trees. More foliage. Let's go back to Taiga. Uh, right there. It's right in front of me. Oh, hold on one sec. The light is getting really bright. There we go. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit my mic. That's much better. Then I don't feel like I'm frowning so much. Like, oh, did you just... Oh, I thought he ran onto the path for a second. I was like, what are you doing? Ooh, a walrus would be really cool too. Yeah, a walrus would be really cool. And you know what? I would love to see... A deli penguins or chin strap penguins because those are my favorite penguins <laughs> now let's do the classic the classic thing here and lay a tree over the top. I think that is good. And we'll do more rocks. I'm going to I'm going to basically cover this area in rocks because again, I think I am just going to move the this maybe this should be as if it was a tree up here that fell I think that might be better so if it fell like this yeah that's better that makes a little more sense I think as if it was a tree growing up there that kind of fell over. So I like that. Yeah, more penguins would be really cool. Yeah, African penguins live outside. Rock hoppers are cool. Yeah, I work with um, macaronis, adelis, chin straps, emperors, and king penguins, as well as Magellantics, Humboldts, um, and then we have a few like alcids, like puffins and common mirrors and things like that. Mers, mers, mirrors, mers. Emperor penguins are really cool. They're very, very cool. <clears throat> they're very cool. They're very, they're very big. They weigh a lot. <laughs> they're very strong. All right, let's see. What can we use for bushes? I love this plant, but it is very small. So what I've actually been doing is kind of making my own bush out of these just by kind of layering them.
kind of like that, I guess. <clears throat> Oh yeah, they poop all the time. That's their MO. They're just pooping little machines. But all birds are. All birds are. Yeah, it's kind of sad right now. We have tours shut down um, because of avian flu. So normally, you know, we would have that open where people could come in and, and pet penguins. Um, but right now, everything everything's closed because avian flu. Okay, let's pause this because I can see things popping up in the left where things are having babies and stuff is happening. We want to stop that. Hey, gators. How's it going? Have you guys hit that like goal yet? Let's see. Two away. We need two more. Two more and we've hit it. Oh, we are 100% using this everywhere. This buffalo grass is like my favorite thing. It's so good. It came with the new grasslands pack and it's, it's just perfect. Which actually that reminds me, this whole thing does not need to be rock. <laughs> Let's change this to uh, some grass and some dirt. <clears throat> yeah, cause the habitat I'm looking at right now really has lots of like overgrown, um, overgrown like grass in between like the rocks and stuff so if we do something like this where like some of the edges are going to be rocks but in between is grass i know this is dirt we're going to put rocks over it i like layering the the terrain paint so that it doesn't look so or this is sand rather just because i wanted it to be a little bit lighter in color and we can do a couple darker spots this is kind of where we'll put rocks is where I'm putting all this dirt. And then a little bit of rock. Just a little bit everywhere. Click around here as rock. Around the pool's edge as rock. Okay, cool. Hey, Lovro, how's it going? How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. rocks over here Perfect. Going to Zagreb Zoo this Friday. Did I say that right? Um, I don't know where that's located. Where's that at? I think, did you post on the Discord saying that you were going? I thought I saw somebody posted that they were going to a zoo. But that's very exciting. I want to see all the pictures because that is always fun to see um, pictures and stuff because I can't go to that zoo. I've been wanting to go to new zoos recently. Like I almost booked like a little mini trip to Arizona to go see the Phoenix Zoo because I've been there once before, um, but I've been wanting to go again. Oh, Croatia. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. I want to see lots of pictures because I would love to see more, um, uh, national, um, international, sorry, international zoos from overseas, different countries other than the United States. That would be great. That would be awesome. It's the second biggest zoo in Croatia, the biggest I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's your local zoo. Very cool. 
That is very cool. Yeah, I have uh, that Zoo Tampa vlog that's uh, ready to go. Um, I just need to do the voiceover. Maybe I'll do that today. And then I have a couple other vlogs, to be honest, that I just need to like get my butt in gear and do the voiceovers for them to, to release those because they're ones that I've had um, since like May of last year. <laughs> so I need to, I need to get, get going on those and release them for zoo inspiration. It's just, it's like 39 minutes long and I've been putting it off because that means I have to talk for 39 minutes and that's a long time. We should fundraise for a European zoo trip. <gasps> that would be awesome. First though, oops, I did not mean to click on that. First though, I need, uh, I need to upgrade my computer. So I've gotten it working. You know how I was having like tech problems before and stuff. I've gotten it working for the time being, but my fixes are only temporary because it's a memory issue. Um, and so I'm going to quickly start running out of memory again. And so I really, really need to upgrade my computer if I want to continue, um, if I want to continue covering games like Planet Zoo and, and, uh, Prehistoric Kingdom and The Sims. Honestly, that's why my Sims channel has kind of been all but forgotten, um, is because I had to uninstall, uh, some of the game to be able to run this game. So I really need... I really need to upgrade my PC. But then after that, yes, we can absolutely fundraise for a European zoo trip for me and I will vlog the whole thing. I would love that, love that. I've actually been really, really thinking that like I want to, to visit other countries. Um, I, I've always known that because I, I love travel and things but I've just never really made it like a, a super prioritized goal of mine. And I want to, because that would be really, really cool. All right, you guys, I think that is a great start. That's a great start to a, a little zoo, uh, a little uh, habitat. I'm going to take the thumbnail picture from right here because I think this is gorgeous like that. And then we'll put the little moose head over here on the, on the right hand side. Ooh, what zoo are you going to, um, Dan Grimm? What zoo are you going to? Oh, that is depth of field is way too close. There we go. And then I don't think I have a moose green screen photo. <clears throat> Are you in the light? You're not. I need you to face the sun a little better. Moose are so difficult to take a good picture of because their antlers, ha, uh, cover their face and put shadows on them but I think this guy is in the right position. Yeah, that's pretty good. Your next trip will be to Hawaii. Have you ever been there, Heather? Oh, that's a scam call on my phone. <laughs> Being in so many spam calls, it's ridiculous. Why are we being so weird, game? Okay, we want there and no 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 there and up just trying to cover up the blue there we go <laughs> if you guys have seen me take uh screenshots before if the background is the blue sky 
it kind of messes with the outline of the animal when I cut away the green screen. It leaves like a blue tint. So I always um, put something back there so that it doesn't have a blue tint to it. Oh, and I've got to update the um, screenshots on my website because I have more downloadables for you guys. Date downloadables on website. Ooh, in Vienna. That's really cool. Yeah, if you guys aren't part of the Discord, I always would love to see, um, oh, hello. Always would love to see good pictures, especially habitats. What really helps me with Planet Zoo, habitats from different angles uh, is really what helps me. Because sometimes on Google, there's beautiful pictures, but it's like you have to like see the different sides of things in order to really be able to tell what the heck is going on. Um, and so multiple pictures of the same habitat is really helpful. I'm just taking a picture of the moose because I want to. <laughs> there we go. All right, you guys. That's the start of our moose habitat. And I don't have it in front of me, I'm sorry, but whoever donated for the moose habitat, thank you so much. Um, your next trip would be to a place that you still don't know where it will be. <laughs> I wanna go to the Columbus Zoo because I've heard that zoo is very, very cool. Oops, no, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. I want to save my zoo as the stream zoo. Save, save. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I want to go to the Columbus Zoo really bad. Um, and I want to go back um, to like the, <clears throat> like the Oregon Zoo and stuff. Cause those are really pretty zoos. Some people go to zoos to see the animals. PZ players go to take pictures of fences and signs. Absolutely. Absolutely. I did that. I went to, I went to Disney World and <laughs> was stopping and taking pictures of all the signs. Uh, all the fences, sorry. All the fences from all the different world lands. My brain is all over the place today. All the different uh, lands and stuff because I needed fence inspiration and it was perfect. It was perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Always wonderful. Always fabulous. 82 likes. Did we actually beat, what was our goal? Our goal was at 75? Oomph. The goal is 50. You guys crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Cause it really does help really does help and then going forward in 2023 i have some big plans for the channel so hopefully hopefully i can make those happen where did my chat go i know i'm sorry i gotta end i got things to do uh errands to run relaxing to do <laughs> lunch to eat lots of stuff i got to do so thank you guys thank you guys yeah, I'm very tired. I had a very long week. Thank you, Heather and Amber, as always, for hanging out with me. You two are the absolute best. Couldn't do it without you. Thanks to all of my members. If you guys are interested in joining the Banana Bunch and getting access to all those fun little emojis, let's go ahead and see. Before we go, anybody that has access to them, let me see your favorite emoji. What's your favorite one? But we have all those emojis um, and more names on the beginning and end of stream and some fun little sneak peeks and perks uh, for being a member. So if you want to support the channel, uh, the join button is down below. Oh, Amber is yours, the little waving lion. <laughs> and Heather, of course, the little love giraffe. <laughs> yes, penguin. Oh, and the cozy otter. That's right. I'll hopefully have one new one. I am working with the same artist that did these ones, uh, Amber. 
on a little howdy armadillo. So hopefully that will be in the next couple weeks. I'm not quite sure how this particular artist, how long this particular artist takes because um, I haven't really worked with them before, but, but yeah. And the yes, no penguins. <laughs> uh, yeah, the cozy otter is your spirit animal. Thanks for hanging out, Swifty. And the money sloths. We didn't get to use the money sloths or the money... Did I add any other ones or is it just the money sloth? Yeah, we didn't get to use any of those today. But that is all right. We'll be back. I will be updating my stream calendar uh, today. So on Discord, there's a link or on my website, simplysavannagaming.com. Uh, there's a stream calendar on there so you can know when our next stream is. I don't uh, to be determined whether we'll do Prehistoric Kingdom next week or not because next week I'm going to Disneyland. Um, but I, I will decide and I will update it today so that it will be there for you guys. So, so yeah. So thank you for being the best community ever. Successful first stream of 2023. Yeah, it's ending. I'm so sorry. I gotta go do things. I gotta go do stuff and things and be productive. <sighs> but yeah, all the new members' names are going to be on the end screen. And I appreciate you. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you during the next stream. Bye!